Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. We are officially two days away from Christmas Eve. I cannot believe how fast December has flown by and Vlogmas itself, but honestly, I'm so excited and happy and ready for 2021. And I know a lot of us are. We are so ready to just put 2020 back in the burner and never look back again today i honestly don't have much going on aside from the fact that we got the shade for our lamp and it's a natural like neutral tone but it looks exactly like the couch and i wanted it to be a little bit lighter than the couch so i'm going to be exchanging that to the white i'm not sure if we're going today to west Elm, but we also need to get some groceries for christmas and i don't want to wait till like the day before christmas eve the main thing i want to get done today is mop the floor i also kind of want to do some tiktoks i started posting on tiktok yesterday last night and the two videos that i posted are like going off so i'm a little bit excited and i want to start posting there more because i feel like the algorithm there it's just way better and the engagement is better so i definitely want to explore that world um i personally love watching tiktoks but for now i am going to make the bed because i have not yet this is what it's currently looking like by the way i feel like i didn't give you guys a rundown of the bedroom so i'm going to make the bed first and then let you know the details to everything in this room as of right now because i feel like the bedroom is the one place in the apartment that is fully done i don't think we need anything else and i'm obsessed with the bed love the nightstands now and also the lamps so yeah going to quickly make the bed and show you guys everything just asking for a friend but am i the only one that keeps the tags and prices of everything in case i want to return <laughs> like for example i still have the price tag for <laughs> the nightstands just in case just in case i just took the price tags for <laughs> the lamps just now so i just finished vacuuming and cleaning the bedroom so let's give you a quick little room tour first starting off we have the painting this painting eric actually painted for me and gave it to me as our first christmas gift which was so special and i feel like i'm going to want to keep this for forever i love how minimal it is but also the pop of color that it provides to the bedroom Plus, it's my favorite color. The bed frame, which as you guys know, has been such a mission and a half. I originally got a white bed frame, which I liked. I just wasn't in love with it. I just feel like this is just so much better and more of my vibe and aesthetic. Love the material. It's like a linen material. I like the actual headboard because it's cushiony. And the fact that it has this like depth right here, it's pretty cool um but overall i really really love it it's a size king i'm going to be linking it down below for you guys i got it from birch lane which is partners or like the same brand as wayfair just a different branch um but i'll link it down below for you guys now the pillows is something that i'm still trying to figure out i do want to add more color maybe when spring comes around but as of right now i am obsessed with this comforter so I'm going to keep it all neutral and cozy vibes. Starting with the pillows on the back, those are the Euro, I think is what you call those. Like the really big square pillows. The actual pillows in the corner are from Allswell. The middle one is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It doesn't have a cover, as you can tell. The actual pillow covers from the two in the corner are from Ikea. I was looking for a third so I can put it in the middle one, but I couldn't find it. This is what it looks like up close. It's like a... I don't know what you would call this but it's a texture and soft and it's a beige cream color the two back pillows are regular sleeping pillows they're the king size from allswell as well as the cover and then now for the fuzzy favorite comforter of life is from bed bath and beyond the brand is ugg and it's the softest most amazing comforter ever literally totally worth the money it is a little bit pricey but definitely worth the money because it feels like you're sleeping on a cloud and it's very lightweight it's not too hot because the other side is um like this material but i just love it overall and i love the weight of it it's not heavy but it just feels 
cozy if that makes sense the comforter does come with the pillow covers it's the size king and they also have the full slash queen size but i love the king size obviously for the bed and then the accent pillow is also from bed bath and beyond ugg brand moving on to the bedside table as you guys know it's a new addition to the family i recently returned the ones that i had these are from home goods and they were $79.99 each. I just love the color and material of these nightstands and also the fact that it has three different drawers. The drawers are also bigger than the previous one which is another pro so we can put more things in them and I like the fact that they're taller and slimmer so it just provides more space because with the king size bed everything looks squished like I wish I could move the bed more this way my friend pamela tells me all the time to move the bed this way but then if i move the bed this way it's not going to be equal to this side and you guys already know i'm like ocd and weird about stuff like that anyways long story short on the nightstand highly recommend they are probably still being sold at home goods since it's a recent find onto the lamp that was something else that was super tricky and hard to find like the perfect size because either they were way too big or way too tall or way too short i don't know something was always off with the lamps like we would go to home goods tj maxx marshall's home sense and they would only have one of the ones that we wanted and not like a pair so these are from bed bath and beyond and ironically enough they match perfectly with the bed frame like insanely perfectly <laughs> it's too funny honestly but i feel like it doesn't look so bad that they're so matchy matchy but i personally love it i love the gold touch and the um vase thing now onto the mirror this is my hovet mirror from ikea it's 129 dollars totally worth the money it's like a massive mirror and i just love it i feel like it opens and brightens up the room we had it in the office prior to having it here and honestly i miss having one in the office so i might get a second one to put in the office so as of right now i love it there onto this side there's actually some construction people right there but the planters are from tj maxx this one is my old one it's white and then the other one is like more of a beige color and i recently found it at marshall's they're the same ones just like different colors and patterns if i put it closer you can see that the patterns are different but i love 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 these this is just like a wooden decor item piece i originally got it to put it like in a bookshelf but when i got it instantly i just placed it there and i haven't moved it since so i don't know i like it all right now on to the bench this is something i get asked often it's from uh ikea i used to have it in my balcony prior to this it's actually an indoor bench it's not an outdoor bench but i used to have it in my balcony and loved it there so i decided to just put this little um like table runner that i got from home goods because it's fuzzy and it matches the cozy vibes you know the rug is also from ikea i forget exactly the size but i'll link it down below for you guys it's just a neutral darker than the bed thankfully um i just feel like this entire room is very beige and green which i like i don't know it gives me a zen vibe so now for this corner this is just kind of like a decor corner or like a sit down relaxing corner part of me feels like the chair was a waste of money because i mean realistically speaking when are we actually going to sit there maybe i'll move it i don't know but for now i genuinely love it there I just feel like it adds character. It's a Sherpa material, super cozy. It's from Target, from the McGee line. The throw is from my Peach Box. The pillow is probably from TJ Maxx or something. And then this plant is from Ikea, as well as the pot. Now, for the TV, this is a 55 inch, I think. Um, we added the lights, the LED lights, which I'll link below as well, and then we ended up covering the cable um, with those like cable cover things. Also, we'll link below. But yeah, you guys, that is our completed bedroom. This is what it looks like from this side, which is the entrance. Just so happy that the apartment is finally coming together and that the bedroom is technically completed. I am really happy and pleased with it. I feel like it brings all the cozy vibes that we need. So now on to putting things away in the living room 
Um, oh, I told you guys that we got the shades or the shade for the lamp. This is what it looks like. I feel like the color is not really picking up, but it's darker than the couch. And I wanted something that was going to be lighter than the couch. Um, so we're going to be returning it for the white shade. Pillows are still a hot mess. I haven't found the pillows that I want. I want the pillows that are like, that you can chop, you know, and these you can't. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly pick up and organize the kitchen and living room and then mop. And after that, I also want to start picking some prints for the family wall. You guys watch the weekend getaway vlog that i uploaded some of you asked if i ended up propagating i did indeed so i'm going to add more water to this and hopefully we get some roots coming this one i've been propagating from my actual plant the golden pot that i have in the office so i'm thinking of repotting this probably today um and then i have to put this one in a vase like this so let me go get another one Okay, so I decided that I'm finally going to repot some of the plants. I'm going to add some more to this one because um, it's like not as full on the top. It's definitely long, but not as full. And then I'm going to repot all of these over here, add these two together, put this one in a new home. Alright, so these are the plants that I ended up repotting. I actually didn't repot this one. They're looking so much better. This one is looking a lot fuller. Hopefully she does well. But I'm now going to water them. Alright, so 
so i'm going to just finish cooking some dinner and end today's vlog here i cannot believe that it has been a full series of vlogmas it truly has been overwhelming but i feel like it's always so rewarding at the end i genuinely just love sharing december with you guys and this time around since it's a new apartment i feel like it's been a really special one for me in particular because i've been sharing just like the evolution of this apartment and how we have been transforming it little by little it truly has been a ride but i feel like since tomorrow is christmas eve i've been on this like emotional route but yeah i just want to say thank you so much for all your love and support it truly means a lot to me i hope you guys have an amazing christmas day christmas eve whenever you're watching this i'll definitely vlog tomorrow i normally don't do christmas day but i do christmas eve and tomorrow's christmas eve my mom and brother are coming like i mentioned i think also one of my cousins is coming i'm trying to keep it really small and intimate due to covid of course but i cannot wait to have them over and have a really casual and chill christmas it's probably going to be a really weird and different one for all of us since it's not the typical like gathering that we all do every year but definitely stay safe thank you so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow